All right, guys, this is Leroy back with a second video on places to farm on Mars, chest farm location on Mars. The first video I showed was this first area that you come to once you spawn in. Um, there's several chest spawn locations in one area. The difficulty here is if there's anyone there, such as we saw here, you kind of have to advance to the next area to get any kind of efficient farming done. That's kind of what I had to do here. Um, it's not a bad area, but the number of chests you can get to spawn in this uh, this final area, um, number of rooms available, number of enemies available, uh, just makes for an overall better farm run. Uh, now there are, uh, this building that we're in here, uh, if you follow Morning After Kill, uh, on YouTube if you subscribe to him uh, he actually had a pretty good farm run showing how to get uh, chests out of this building um, I've done it a couple times there are some some good relic iron uh, uh, spots to loot out of that building the cabal enemies down here real low leveled uh, pretty easy to take out even if you go further into the building where the uh, there's some of the tougher vex enemies can spawn once you get all the way down inside the building but uh, no need for that. We're trying to maximize our uh, spin metal and chest farming here. So what we're going to do is progress further. The final area that we're going to stop at is kind of one big open arena. Um, you can pick a direction clockwise, counterclockwise, make your way around the outer edge of the arena. But it's not just the edge of the arena. Um, it's the each building. Uh, along the outside of this area in the buried city zone uh, has several little rooms inside of it so uh, trolling those rooms for chests this is probably one of the best I've seen uh, definitely on Mars if not the game for number of chest spawn locations this area here I always come try to check out for uh, check out for some relic iron the vex enemies here are not too difficult you've got a uh, an accurate enough weapon to go for the critical spots the see we got one right off the bat first try um, each one of these rooms each one of these buildings has like I said several rooms uh, fire up a polyphage try to maximize try to get some glimmer out of these guys while we're farming the uh, some of the buildings if, if you go in a building and there's not you're seeing a different enemy spawn rate such as you go in a building there's enemies and you come back and there's not that means there could have been somebody just uh, someone could have just went through that building kind of reset uh, that building spawn it doesn't mean the chest won't be there but if you're seeing a lot of no enemies spawning and no chests spawning that could be uh, the reason why um, like I said each one of these rooms they're all identical layouts they all have uh, chest spawn capabilities inside this area it's kind of rare but I have seen chest spawn in a couple random spots inside this building the uh, the area itself is a pretty big area so even if there are there's one of the guy running around here even if there are other folks kind of running around uh, it is possible to continuously get these enemies to reset uh, this is spot I'm in right here at the end of the hallway uh, are some yellow bar enemies there's a Minotaur, uh, an Axis Harpy. There are some Hobgoblins, pretty tough enemies. So if you're doing the uh, if you're doing the Olympus Tears collection bounty uh, from the tower, some of those enemies will actually give you 20 apiece. Uh, this area here, I put some arrows on the screen to show you. There are several areas where the chests can spawn, uh, even up on top of the actual breezeway itself. Um, if you one thing you can do is clear out the outside of the area then start at the end of that breezeway and work your back toward the the main building the because uh, I have seen chests spawn on both sides of the columns along the interior uh, of that that breezeway under the canopy um, so if you're not seeing it when you go down one direction if you turn around go the other direction when you come out um, a lot better chance of catching them there uh, it's all about it's all about repetition 
uh, trying to hit as many spots in as little time as possible. Uh, it is possible to catch a public event here. Um, there's one in this area for killing the target. It's a uh, pretty tough, pretty difficult uh, minotaur can spawn. Um, not to be trifled with, so make sure you got a lot of heavy ammo if he does spawn. The the other one is a uh, Warsat Defense uh, out at the end of this area I've seen before. Uh, mostly it's a kill the target. Could be mistaken on the Warsat Defense, but I'm pretty sure we did one within eyesight of that, uh, that first little shed that you see when you come into the Buried City area. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, you can rack up a lot of spin metal. Uh, a lot of Olympus tears and decent amount of glimmer. It's not the best glimmer farming spot. Uh, but you can rack up quite a bit of stuff in a pretty short amount of time. It's not really a whole lot to it. Uh, just make sure you've got enough weapon to take some of those tougher enemies at the end of the breezeway. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.